Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel Z here. And in this video today, we're gonna be checking out the Epson EcoTank ET4850. So this is a printer that Epson did send out to me to review. And the reason why I accepted this printer to review it is because there's something special about this printer. As you can see on the right side, it has these fill up ink bottles. So as you can tell, each section there has its own type of ink. So you have the BK for black and you have the C for cyan, M for magenta, as well as the Y for yellow. So anytime the printer needs a refill, all you pretty much do is you just twist the bottle open and then you turn it over onto the correct section. So. What's cool about this is you can pretty much use any ink so long as it has that thing on top. Um, and I was just checking Amazon the other day and I was seeing these third party brands that you could purchase and you can get a full set for under 30 bucks, which is really cool. Obviously I would recommend using the Epson brand just because they do make, or they do have quali a better quality ink. So honestly, I would recommend that. But even so, this is pretty cheap. Now, the one downside that I'll quickly mention with this printer is that it was pretty expensive, or it is pretty expensive. Since I didn't pay for this, I got this as a review unit. So the printer is expensive, but if you count up the amount of ink that you're going to use, that it might actually add up. So I don't know how much a printer is currently, but last I checked, I think it was around $500 or something like that. Uh, maybe it is on sale now. I'm not actually sure. So you'll have to um, double check me on that. But again, the ink on this printer is really cheap. Um, so that's really cool. You can get aftermarket ink. It doesn't have any smudges or anything like that, which is cool. You just turn the bottle over onto the correct indicator and you fill up the printer. So that's pretty much how you do that. And then setting up the printer is also very, very easy. I didn't have to use any of the CD software that came with the printer. I just simply plugged and played. So I plugged in the printer, set up the Wi-Fi quickly onto the same network that my computer is on, and I was able to print, which I did have to do something on my PC. I just went into printer settings, added the printer like I would do with any other printer, and I was able to print. And in this video, I will be showing you a test page that I did print, and it came up pretty fast. So this is a color all-in-one printer. It's got a fax machine in there too. You can hook it up to the network. I have not done that. The only thing I've pretty much done with it is hooked it up to the Wi-Fi since the way that I send faxes out today is through email or through an app on my iPhone, Microsoft Lens. If you're not familiar, I will be making a review on that um, and demonstrating how to send a fax with Microsoft Lens uh, through email since most people today don't use fax machines. But anyway, if the establishment you did want to send a fax to uh, had a fax machine you would be able to use this printer now one other thing you might want to do with this printer is it will ask you to set the indicator on the actual printer to basically notify it or to tell the printer how much ink is in the actual printer so that it can give you um, an accurate estimate of how many pages you can print out obviously you don't need to do this um, but it does ask you and you can see here how easy it is. You just go through each color and you kind of match it up with how much you see within the ink tank. So this printer has a bunch of cool features. It's pretty much an all-in-one. It is quite small if you see that. It's got the paper tray. Um, it is a touch screen and it is very easy to set up. Printer paper comes out really quickly. If you uh, see here, I did print out a test page example, uh, but overall, this is a pretty nifty printer. It's got all in one. Uh, you could get the older model for, uh, I think the older model is the 3850. You can get that for about 400 bucks. Uh, this one, I just checked the price and it was like 640 bucks. So it is quite pricey, but other than that, it is an, literally an all in one printer and is very easy to set up and very easy to fill up as well. No smudges, no changing out the cartridges or all that stuff. You just simply open the bottle, turn it upside down onto the correct um, indicator. It doesn't leak. You just put it on top of the thing. It goes into the place and then it starts releasing the ink into the cartridge section. And that's pretty much it. So anyway, thank you so much for watching guys. Hopefully this review uh, did help you out. If it did, please do leave a like and I'll have an Amazon link in the description below. So check that out as well. Thank you so much for watching and 
I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.